times ago when we started this channel, many people didn't like the idea that we're starting a channel specifically for young people. But we have a different idea. Why we don't mean to say that people who are above 40 are doomed, we believe that young people need someone to speak to them specifically. The one painful thing about being young is that you don't know as much as you want to think you do about life and because of this, you're likely to be doing the wrong things while you will think that you are catching fun. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the one thing the rich don't do in their 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. A Distracted World The number one problem of the young age is distractions. Evil Distractions Towards the end of our teenage years, we suddenly see that the world is interesting and there are too many things to try and explore. The problem with this thinking is that time goes so fast and before we know it, we've wasted a decade of our lives on frivolities. What most successful people do is to avoid distractions in their 20s. Bill Gates lived all his 20s building and creating without having any reasonable vacations. Larry Page started dreaming of becoming an inventor and as a teenager and followed that passion all his 20s. I lived my 20s as though I was late. I avoided every time-wasting activity and invested all my energy on learning and trying stuff. The single most important thing you can do with your life is to concentrate your energy on what matters when you're still young. Today, most young people wake up to social media. Many young people move from one party to another fun activity. These people think that life is fun because it appears so. But I have sad news for you. Life is not going to be fun for you forever. The number one thing that separates successful people from most others is the fact that successful people tend to focus on what matters early in their life and stay focused on that single thing or few things for many years. My personal story When I was around 13, I started questioning the school system. I wondered why everyone wants me to become an employee. I asked myself, if I can own my own business, why should I work for another person all my life? But since I was only 13, in the culture where I grew up, 13-year-olds cannot claim to have a better idea about life, so I continued enduring school. By the time I was 17, I started reading books about life, success and those who have done great things with their life. The more I learned, the clearer my future became to me and the less I spent time doing what most people of my age were doing. At 20, I already knew what I wanted to do. At 20, I already knew what I wanted to do with my life and because I had a big dream, it was almost impossible for me to get distracted by most things my mates were getting distracted by. I hated sitting down in front of the television. I hated partying or social media. All I did was read, read and act. By the end of my 20s, I have already built a business that gave me more money than 99% of my mates could make. And now, almost 33, I can employ almost anyone we grew up together. The difference is in concentration. If you're young as you watch this video, I beg you, find what you want to do with your life and say no to every other distraction. Those who become successful in life don't waste their youthful age doing what everyone thinks is normal. Everyone thinks that it's normal to have five social media accounts because you're 21, but I tell you, it's not. Everyone thinks that it's normal to watch every football match and argue about them because you're 19, but I tell you, it's not. Everyone thinks that being young means you have some opportunities to mess around a little, but I tell you, you don't have the time. It is easier to believe that you still have a lot of time to figure out many things. It's easier to think that you still have many years ahead of you. It's easier to think that the best way to enjoy your youthfulness is to have fun. But that's not correct. The best way to enjoy your youthfulness is to avoid enjoyment altogether. How to have a meaningful life as a young person The very first thing I think you can do as a young person is to set some reasonable goals for yourself. When I started setting goals, I was only 15 years old. Till today, I still set goals and that's the reason why I can afford to live like everyone else. You see, what goals do for you is to make you have something to run after. When I started setting goals, I started having less and less time for anything 
that doesn't appear to help my goals in any way. Let's do this together. Let's assume that there are two young people. One is like every other 17-year-old. He doesn't have any dream or goal, while the second guy wants to be the greatest musician, and he has set that as a goal. Do you think these two people will live the same kind of life? I don't think so. From my experience, the guy who wants to be better than Michael Jackson will be conscious of how he spends his time. For the past 17 years, I have learned how to ask myself, how does this contribute to my goals? And if anything seems not to be helpful to my goal, I have learned how to say no. Everyone else has wished, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about goals, goals you strongly desire. If you have such goals, you'll learn how to concentrate your effort and time as a young person. You'll learn how to say no to many distractions in our world today, and you'll learn how to use your 20s to build the kind of life you desire. B. In a hurry The number one woe of most young people is that they don't have goals they are running after. The second woe for many young people is the fact that they think that they still have a lot of years ahead of them. To those who unconsciously think that because they are 17 or 23, they still have a lot of years to mess around, I tell you, you are deceived. The truth is that you don't have as much time as you think you do. Let's say that you're 21 as you watch this video. Well, in the next 10 years, you'll be 31. And don't get it twisted. Life in your 30s isn't the same as living in your 20s. Time goes so fast and as time goes, we have less and less zeal to dare life. What happens when you are 30 is that you start to become less and less adventurous. The risk you can take without thinking while you're 19 becomes what you have to spend the entire month to analyze when you're 29, thanks to your age and fear the society has put in you. Now, if you want to have a meaningful life, I honestly think that you should be in a hurry when you're young. Read books as if you will die if you don't. Make friends with the people who are older and wiser. Take actions as if you only have your 20s to live. Be in a hurry because your time is short. The rich learn how to figure out who they are and what they want to achieve with their lives very early in life. The rich learn how to say no to every distraction so that they could focus on what matters. If you're young as you watch this video, I ask you to be in a hurry because your time is short. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV, which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.